Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Abenheim. I'm the inventor of the Excel implant process. So I'm sure you've heard about the Powerball screw and you wonder, what is it? Why do I need it? Why should I provide it for my patients? And why is it cutting edge? If you do full arch dentistry, you understand that when you create a zirconia or a PMMA prosthesis, in order to connect it directly to your implants through your abutments, you need to have a tie base, which is what generally that we do. So we can go ahead and place amazing implants, we can go ahead and place great abutments, but then there's the weak point, which is the tie base. Yes, a lot of you may say, well, I've never had any issues. If you haven't had any issues, you haven't done enough, and you haven't looked at it long enough, because it's just science. To be able to connect a titanium base to a zirconia prosthesis or to a PMMA is just not a real true bond. What you're doing is a chemical bond, which we know is not strong enough. So for that patient where they bite down and their prosthesis will break, you will have complications in the future. So this is why I invented this Powerball screw. The Powerball screw really came for myself, for my own patients, to be able to fix a lot of the issues that we had. And the number one issue that we had was either debonding of the tie bases or fracture of the zirconia. When you go ahead and put a tie base in, um, not only is it gonna debond, but it will weaken your zirconia or your PMA PMMA prosthesis. A lot of companies out there say, hey, use our screw. The problem is, is that you cannot just take a screw, lengthen the thread, and allow a screw that's designed for titanium to be able to use in zirconia or PMMA. It's just a completely different material. So my Powerball screw was invented to not only uh, solve a lot of problems, but let's go through a couple of things. Number one, if you look closely at the head of the screw, the head of the screw is a, what we call a proprietary biaxial head. This allows you to, con to change the angle up to 30 degrees. No more facial access holes, no more thimble uh, restorations, no more um, veneers to try and close the access hole, but 30 degrees. So if you use a 30 degree multi-unit abutment and you use my Powerball screw, you have 60 degrees of angulation correction. Now that's tremendous. The other issues that we've always had with uh, multi-unit screws is that they're very small and very prone to fracture. So what happens is because of the way the Powerball screw is created, you can see this large part of the screw, when we did all of our testing, when the patient bites down into the prosthesis, instead of, instead of the forces to be able to be pushed around the actual thread, all of the force is in the thick section of the screw so that we don't have any fracture of the screw. The other thing is, is that when you use a traditional titanium screw and you put it into a zirconia prosthesis or a PMMA prosthesis, what typically happens is that the seat where the screw will sit will actually just fracture. So what we did is if you look closely in this section right here, what we did was we created a rounded edge and this is why we call it the power ball. The bottom of the screw is completely round and because it's round, it creates very gentle forces to the zirconia or the PMMA transfers all of the force down to the body of the screw and not like other screws into the body of the prosthesis. So this allows you to have a great powerful screw where it won't break and it won't break your prosthesis. And that is in a nutshell is the Powerball screw. So if you're doing full arch dentistry and you're not using the screw to restore your cases, I would say it's possible that you're not providing the latest and greatest for your patients. Look into it, look into the option, Look into the full digital option, our Excel implant process workflow, because your patients will love it and you will love the way that the workflow is created. Until then, have an amazing day.